Hey guys, so I know it's been a minute since I've made a video, um, like an actual video. I had attempted this a couple weeks ago, I want to say two, possibly three, um, <clears throat> and then just decided to delete it. It wasn't a good one, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but, so basically, if my color thing will fucking work, what the hell? Okay. Um, okay, so there's a lot to catch up on and go through. Um, I am gonna make this one and then I'll probably do another one tomorrow <clears throat> either on the way to donate plasma or coming back um, I haven't fully decided which one because like I said there is a lot to go over <clears throat> but um, I just wanted to go through a couple quick things because I am taking the longer route home um, but I'm just going to start with something that happened to me today. Um, so basically last, last week I decided to rearrange my room. Um, especially cause I still haven't done any kind of room tour or update on that. Um, I do recall, uh, June or July of last year, I had made a video, uh, with that bed frame and that bed back in the back um so that's not like that anymore and I kept bringing up I wanted to do a room tour but I couldn't get it how I liked it well I'm getting somewhere well today I I made a to-do list uh before I left for the weekend last week uh to stay with my boyfriend um I made a to-do list of the things that I needed to get done <clears throat> um cleaning being one of them because I like I said this my room has been a mess for a good week now um so I made a to-do list and I was actually getting um a decent amount done up until two o'clock two thirty um I had come back in from outside from hanging things and um er from grabbing the battery to the drill to hang things. Sorry, my mind is fucking everywhere. Um, so basically, I walk back inside and my mom looks at me and she goes, how much of a notice will you need? I said, for what, Cleveland? Which is my dog. Uh, she said, yeah. I said, probably a good week and a half. And I started to tear up. And I was like, I want to be there though. And she goes, why? Why would you want to put yourself through that? I said, because it's not really about me. It's about him. I have done my own little research on it. And dogs remember you being there for them when you put them down. Like, that's what they remember. And they're not mad at you for it. So it's for him, it's not even really about me or for me, but I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to be there because my mom's been calling around and a lot of people are telling her that nobody can be in the room, this and that, and sure enough, my mom said that she, she doesn't want me to be there because it's going to be She's going to be more heartbroken about me sitting there losing my shit than Cleveland actually passing. Which, don't get, don't get me wrong, she loves him. She's going to cry when he passes too. But I would break her heart worse than him. Because that dog is my absolutely... My absolute fucking world. And I can't seem to be okay when it comes to the thought of losing him. 
So I, I was trying to collect myself and I literally just shed a few tears. And she's like, I didn't mean to make you cry. Now I'm crying. I was like, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? But so I went back to my bedroom and I started fucking hyperventilating worse than the like anxiety attacks I get when I run into my ex which is a whole nother fucking story on its own um that's not as bad now because I'm literally to the point where I don't give a fuck I'm happy and he can't destroy that anymore or fuck with my head anymore so but it was a really 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 bad anxiety attack and while my boyfriend was at work and I couldn't text him or call him as much as I wanted to I w he wouldn't have been able to do anything or help me or calm me down his job is weird but like not like that <laughs> um so, and I didn't want to get him in trouble, so my next thing was to call my cousin. Um, so I called her, and I just fucking broke down at that point, explaining. I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I'm like, I am literally struggling right now, and I can't even talk to Cameron yet. And sure enough, though, um, I had got in Cameron's car because he was he came to get me today after work because um he was going with me to sell um extra, some of the extra horse halters I had um and I don't need them I don't use them I have the one main one and that's really all I need for if I were to eventually go and get my own, so I don't need all the extra ones, because if I get one, it's going to be one, and then that's it, I'm not going to be able to afford more than one, so th there was that, and I was like, okay, so we went and sold it, but I, the car ride was a little silent, like, I had a quick conversation, like, I asked him how his day was, how his work, and all that stuff, before we even left my driveway, so the car ride itself to uh, Kroger's to where we could sell that stuff was quiet so my head just kind of kept going and on the way back my head was just kind of going and like I was trying not to cry but like I wanted to talk to him about it especially because him and I have talked about it previously a few times and I told him that I feel like I'm not going to be able to get out of my bed for a week which that's another thing my dad proceeded to say, after my mom was, and I were talking about it, my dad proceeded to say that if we're going to do it, we also should try and time it before I were to find another job because I'm going to need to take a couple days off. So that comment alone kind of hurt my feelings because now I feel like it's going to be sooner than I want it to be. And mom had just told me before I left to go put gas in my car that... They're thinking around the end of September, depending on how he feels, and depending on what they can find and all this shit. So, that's fucking, it's fucking heartbreaking. And sure enough, Cameron and I get back closer, because we met this girl halfway, which it wasn't a far drive, but we met her halfway at that Kroger's. So we were getting closer towards his house and stuff and he had stopped through Dairy Queen so we could get food and he's like, do you know what you want? I said, no, but I'm not really hungry. I feel like I'm just going to throw it up anyways. There's no point. He's like, we'll do at least one a Sunday. I was like, sure, why not? Just make it a small. Because typically I do medium. Medium, Sunday, blizzard, whatever the fuck. But I didn't want a lot to eat. And I haven't had much to eat today either. So I told him, I was like, sure, just make it a small. And then he turned and looked at me <laughs> and he, he was explaining that he was going to eat the food and then shower and then eat the blizzard. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't care what you do. You do you. 
but like you don't have to explain it but i mean that's fine that's cool you know communication it's fine not anyways not the point but <laughs> um after that he <laughs> i was like okay cool uh, that's fine that works whatever well then he looks at me after a second and goes yeah and then after a second he he's like so what's wrong <laughs> And then I just started bawling and I just explained to him the situation and like I was crying and then I was talking about um, the issues that happened from yesterday, shit happened that I wasn't there for so I found out from my sister when I got home last night. Um, so then I finally told Cameron that because I, I had told Cameron I was like, um, there, you'll never believe the shit I just found out. But I can't even, like, explain it over text because it's too much. It's too kind of all over the place. So, I'm going to have to do it tomorrow when I see you. And he goes, okay, okay, cool. So, I explained that shit. And we were laying upstairs. And we were watching Family Guy. This time it is Family Guy. <laughs> We've well, I just sat there and watched all the American Dad episodes, but when I'm not, like, in the mood to play Xbox on the weekends because I'm too irritated with the games, and if he's not playing with me, I'll flip it to American Dad and just kind of play something on my phone, cuddle up to him, talk with him, that kind of stuff. Um, so, but this time we were actually watching Family Guy, so we... I ate my ice cream, he ate his food, he went downstairs, showered, grabbed his ice cream, came back up, finished his ice cream, set it aside, and then he was cuddling me for a little bit, and, um, and then, like, come 7 o'clock, or, like, 7.15, 7.30, uh, he had turned on the Xbox, which is fine, he worked all day, I don't give a fuck, you wanna play, play, but typically when he plays, I'm able to cuddle up to him, and I was cuddling him as he was turning on the Xbox, but he kind of went to readjust, and then it made it seem like he didn't want to cuddle, and I got even more sad, <laughs> because I was already sad, like I, I, like, I literally cannot get the thought of my dog not being home out of my head, so, um... I had turned over the other direction and was like messing on my phone and I was like half asleep watching TikTok and then he had like cut her up well I guess somewhere in between 7 30 and 10 o'clock before he brought me back home um he had went downstairs to get another Mountain Dew because I remember him like crouching at the edge of the bed and like cuddling or like rubbing me like my back and stuff and like cuddling up to me for a minute um so I had uh fuck oh so I had like cuddled him back and we sat like that for a minute and um Then he had got like back on the bed and then I remember him closer to the time I was leaving like just about 10 o'clock he had like leaned over and was cuddling me that way because like if I'm laying on my side like this he came from behind me and like put his head over here and just was like rubbing my shoulder and stuff um and then we cuddled like that for a few minutes before I actually leave like leaving I already talked to him and asked if he was mad at me or if he was okay he said yeah he's fine and he was just tired so I'm gonna hopefully continue with that and not overthink it all night but we'll see how that goes I'll keep you updated because I'm about to text him back because I saw that he texted me in the middle of this <laughs> but um I don't know if I'll find out tonight I might talk to him tomorrow because trauma which is a whole other reason I think that shit anyways but yeah, I made it home. I'm going to end it here. Um, I might get more into it tomorrow morning, depending on how tired I am. Uh, typically, when I make the drive, I tend to turn my music on um, just till I wake up for a little bit. So, we'll see. I might do it tomorrow morning. 
I might do it on the way back. I mean, either way, it's going to be tomorrow morning because I don't take long. Um, I just haven't decided if I'm going to do it on the way there or on the way back. So I will keep you guys updated. There's a lot more that I still want to talk about and go through. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Thanks for listening. Bye.